While the German commanders clash over tactics, the Allies are looking at ways to avoid the heavily defended ports and instead land at the more remote beaches. Getting an invasion force ashore without using established ports presents a major challenge. But the Allies have come up with some inspired solutions. On the Normandy coast, unlocking the secrets of these extraordinary feats of engineering is ex-British Army Captain Patrick Berry. Look at this. This is clearly a Sherman tank. And I've seen a few of these in my time. And you can see, actually, it's well preserved. Let's see it around here. Now, this is interesting, because as well as the, the drivetrain for the tracks, you've got this extra one here, which means that there was something here which was powered and turning. And that's not standard on these tanks. Now, these are commemorative plaques for the units that fought here on D-Day. But this lip is original and also non-standard. And you can see the lip runs all the way around the tank. You've basically got the, uh, the prow of a boat here. And this is actually a tank that swims. It's an amphibious tank. This is a specially designed Sherman DD, or duplex drive. And the duplex drive refers to that drive chain at the back, which actually powered propellers. And also, when the tank hits the shore, it will power the tracks. Allied inventors realize that multiple tanks unloading from a single landing craft make easy targets for the enemy's artillery. But the ingenious DD concept allows individual tanks to launch and disperse at sea to support the troops at intervals along the coastline. You can see here where the, uh, the holes are. They could attach a canvas screen which ran the whole way around the tank and as high as the turret. And then inside that, to help the tank float, they put 36 air-filled rubber tubes pushing out the water around it. It's basically about displacement. If this weighs 30 tons, then you need to displace 30 tons worth of water. And that was how they did it. The DD tanks, known affectionately as Donald Ducks, are just one of several ingenious D-Day inventions. They include the Ark, an armored ramp carrier, the Bobbin, a path-laying tank for soft terrain. And the Crab, a mine-sweeping Sherman equipped with flailing chains, all designed to support the troops in a beach invasion. <laughs> 